So over my career of video making, I've made a few videos. I've been doing it for as long as I've had. It's hard not to feel like things sometimes can get repetitive. Every so often, uh, I make a video that is rejuvenating, that reminds me how fortunate and incredibly lucky, like winning the lottery twice lucky, to do what I do. Uh, so this video sponsor, USA, originally reached out to ask us to build one of the craziest custom PCs we could think of for the esports teams for uh, the US Naval Academy, the Air Force Academy, the Coast Guard Academy. Uh, I jumped as fast as a human can jump. So for us, this goes beyond just like a sponsorship thing with USAA. Uh, as a group, we have some connections to the military in some way that's personal to us. Uh, so first, if you're not familiar with USAA, uh, it is a insurance company that provides financial services and products to military members and eligible family members. Uh, they offer a wide range of insurance services for your car, your home, if you're renting, uh, and, and so much more. If you want to learn more about USAA though, check out the link down below. So to catch you up, this is build number two of three. Uh, this time it is the Air Force Academy. I'm gonna take you through the whole process from concept, the I think pretty insane build process, how we customize it, all the way to the finished product of this just beast rig, which includes an insane graphics card that at least as of this filming has never been in a consumer PC before. So hopefully this goes up soon, uh, but truly a world first. And this video too is not going to be a build tutorial. We're not gonna do a step-by-step -step of how to build a computer, just show you highlights of the whole process. So the goal for this project was to build something obviously bespoke and unique for the esports team for the Air Force Academy to, to use and to compete with, hopefully. And if you've tried to build a computer in the past like 18 months, you know how hard and difficult it is to even just get parts for this. So I haven't talked yet about what's going inside this PC. And honestly, that's not my expertise. So I sent out the bat signal once again to call upon the best PC builder that I know to help us out with this build. So we're back. I like to call us a dynamic duo, but really it's more like Superman and Jimmy Olsen. I am joined <laughs> uh, by Terrence, you probably know him as the Poets on social media. And we're here with all of these beautiful components to build another computer. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and we have a lot of stuff here to get through. There is a lot of stuff. So yes. if you missed, and I loosely use the word our uh, first build, <laughs> uh, it was awesome. It was a full desk PC, water-cooled, crazy RGB things mm -hmm. happening. Uh, that went to the US Navy. Yes. Shipping it out was about as big a deal as it was to build it. Air Force is up next. We've got a, I think a pretty nice bespoke setup here yes. uh, for the Air Force. So wha what are we doing? Well, first off, we thought Air Force, immediately I kind of thought of this. This is the thermal take uh, chassis that actually looks kind of like a, a fighter jet or like an attack helicopter chassis. Basically, we wanted to do something a little bit different with this one because you always see like uh, air coolers mm -hmm. and like AIOs. This one, we're actually gonna use a monoblock for the CPU, which is really, really cool. Um, huh, cool, <laughs> water cooling. Uh, it is this wow. right here. Then of course we have some RGB RAM. You need oh, we that. got to. Yep. Uh, it's gonna be a nice theme for the Air Force. We have some very advanced fluid as well. Adva it's advanced fluid. It, it, it is advanced fluid. A lot of people have issues with advanced fluid because it takes a lot of prep work, but look at that. That's, that's, it's different. Is it, was it, is it any better? Just it looks cooler. It looks cool. Okay. Yeah. But the big thing here, all these components are fine. They're awesome. But our GPU. Mm-hmm. You're lucky if you can find one. You find a 3090, you've, you've won the lottery. Yes, you have. We've got something that I think we can confidently say no other computer has inside of it right now. That's right. Tell us about our GPU. So it is the XFX 6900 XT. So it's a GPU that already has an EK water block installed on it. And yes, we're one of the first, if not the first in the entire country to get our hands on this. So other than that, that's about it. And we need to get started soon. Let's do it. So we ran into a problem. I think, I think we found a way to solve it. Yeah, I think so. Basically with GPUs, it's a little weird because when you're doing a vertical mount, so this very heavy, ugh, expensive GPU right here, you could easily kind of put it in like this, right? 
call it a day. But then you get to miss out on all this like beautiful, glorious artwork and all that stuff and all the RGB. So we vertically mount it, but in order to do that, you need a, what's called a riser cable to plug underneath it to go then into the motherboard right here. Yeah. So <laughs> when we started plugging it in, it's hitting against the power supply unit. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to bend it too far or yeah. anything. And it's not fitting. We, we have like an inch of like gap there. I wrote Thermaltake uh, an email because, you know, Thermaltake case and, you know, power supply unit and all that stuff. They called me back in like two minutes and they were like, yeah, just bend the hell out of it. <laughs> so that's what they said. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what we're going to try to do. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to bend it. Bend it. Screw it in. Hope for the best. So after the first PC build, which we'll link in all the places we did for USA for the Naval Academy's esports team, we wasn't quite sure how we we're gonna top that PC in a desk thing. But like I said, this is all for a cause and myself and the whole team really got behind. Uh, a lot of people here at JFL have military connections and there's one story in particular that made this build seem special. So if you've been watching this channel for at least about a year, you've probably asked yourself a few times, hey, who is that guy on screen with the gigantic head? Uh, that gigantic head is me. Hi, I'm JD and I'm one of the creative directors here at JFL and I help make some of the videos that you see here on the channel, uh, including this one. So when the team was sitting down and we were concepting out this whole video, we we're talking about the case, we we're talking about the parts that were gonna go in it and just the overall look and aesthetic of the build. Uh, I think it was John that said, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we were able to get somebody who was in the Air Force Academy or somebody who graduated from the Air Force Academy and just sort of bring them along with this and include them in the build so they can see what we're building for their academy. And I just kind of raised my hand and went, I, I might know a guy. Enter retired Colonel of the United States Air Force, David Prevost, otherwise known as my dad. So you've seen the build, you saw everything that we put into it, you saw how it came out, and uh, how do you feel about this getting shipped off to your alma mater? Well, I can I can tell you, first thing, uh, when I went there, I took a computer class and they were, it was on a, a Burroughs B5500. It was about the same size as the entire room there <laughs> and had about the same capability as a, as a small calculator and certainly not even as good as your watch. So I am really impressed with what I saw there. It, it is, uh, I, I, rather than, than be trite about it, it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, and I wish I was there as a student being able to, uh, to use it, participate with whatever the school is going to use it for. And uh, I, I'm sure they're going to get the, the maximum amount out of it because that's what they do. So not only have I been a member of USCA for literally over 10 years, um, many of our guys here in the office have been with USCA for that long, if not longer as well. Uh, JD's dad, on the other hand, um, Say he's got us all beat. Uh, I started with USAA in 1967 because that's when I ended up with the uh, my first car. Uh, it was a it was a Ralph Nader special. It was a Corvair, and uh, strangely enough, USAA uh, insured it anyway. I got rid of that right away and, and ended up with a Corvette um, when I graduated. But uh, but there it is, and I've been with them ever since for just about everything, a any insurance stuff that I, almost everything that I've done on the insurance arena, uh, that's it. So personally, many of my family have served in the military. The last build was dedicated to my father-in-law who recently passed away, who served for many years in the US Navy. Uh, my grandfather, uncles uh, were all sort of proud military men. And I think that's why these series of videos feel different. Like I said earlier, it's just rejuvenating when you go back to work on a project where we're building and filming something like this for a cause that the whole team has a connection to. And I know you see a lot of sponsored videos out there, but this one means something special to us. So she lives. For the first time, we put the, I don't know, what do you call these, wings? I guess the fitting. Why not? Yeah, wings yeah. for the Air Force. Exactly. Uh, put it on, have it turned on, mm -hmm. um, got windows put on here, seeing the full 
like RGB action happening. Uh, you mm. know, the ocular fluid looks. Yeah. It uh, looks incredible in it there. It looks really nice. It's quiet too. Yeah, we can't hear. Can't it hear anything. It's so quiet. I, I think this is this is probably the favorite of the builds we've done thus far. We are not done yet. More to come. With our, uh, <laughs> with our build. So definitely stay tuned, but it's cool to do something for the Air Force. It was cool, with, especially with the mm. connection that, that we have to the Air Force here at JFL and to put it all together. And hopefully this can be a, uh, a winning PC that can win many a competition for the Air Force. Terrence, there we go. again, huge thank you. My pleasure. Literally none of this could happen without you. Not a Love single thing that is here could have happened uh, without your expertise. You are a kind and gracious human being. You came in here many more days than initially expected. Uh, you troubleshot, you fix problems. Yeah, you, sir, are a good, good human. Um, my pleasure. I mean, good crew, good cause. And this is very fun to build in, especially with this case and all the water cooling. So yeah, this was, this was fun. That's all, period. So I think everything about this build came out amazing. Now, probably a little bit of bias having worked on it, uh, but I'm pretty proud of this. Everything was expertly assembled. RGB looks amazing. The fluid looked amazing. The performance makes it a crazy powerful machine, not just for looks. It also means something to us, and I think especially to JD, since he got to bring his dad uh, along for this journey. So here's a full rundown of all the parts that we use. We're keeping track at home. So our last build was Intel. We went AMD here with the Ryzen 9 5950X CPU. Uh, thermal take DDR4, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, we used a Samsung 980 Pro SSD, two terabytes. Uh, the XFX Radeon RX 6900 XT GPU. A lot of thermal take stuff here. So we used their 1200 watt power supply. The thermal take AHT600 case. Thermal take ring quad 12 fans. I love the RGB and those things. And then adding the final touch of teeth to the nose, which is sort of our nod to one of the coolest fighter jets, the A10 Warthog. That I thought was my favorite part, but actually seeing the fluid inside uh, was amazing. And Terrence told us right off the bat, like this is going to look very cool, but it might be a pain. It's probably not the cleanest fluid to use, not the easiest to maintain fluid to use, but when it's moving through everything, uh, it looked awesome and seeing things light up, seeing the computer turn on for the first time is a very cool experience. I now have some PC building experience, but I am not to the level of, you know, like, like a Terrence or a Linus or Austin or Bitwit, those guys. So just seeing things turn on and work uh, is still very exciting to me. So that was probably the, the best part for me personally. And maybe eventually as I build more computers, that'll become less exciting, but at least it was like seeing like a baby being born, like the light came on. I'm like, I helped do that. That was awesome. Honestly, like like all of these builds we've been doing, uh, it's an honor to work on this project. And I'm excited to get this one sent out to the Air Force eSports team, let them put this thing through its paces, use it, enjoy it, and know that it came from a place of love and respect. Uh, and a big thanks to USAA for making this project happen. Be sure to stay tuned. Also, for future upcoming PC builds, we have one more to go. And we got something in store for that one that I don't think you've ever seen before. So stay tuned.